God bless you, Brother Al. Can we give the Queen of Gospel another standing, rousing ovation? Come on. What a blessing she has been to all of us. What an inspiration she has been to all of us. Amen. I love her so much. I praise God for Sister Walker because I think it's so important that we honor those who have inspired us, those who brought us over, who helped to encourage us, and certainly Mother Albertine is my mother in the gospel, and I praise God for her. I, like Reverend Cleveland, even before Reverend Cleveland, listened to her records. I'm talking about records. Some of y'all don't remember, 78s. We're talking about pre-cassette, pre-CD, pre-45s. Some of y'all don't even remember 45s. And eight tracks. <laughs> but, I, but I tell you, when I was about six or seven years old, my mother brought me a 78 record by Albertina Walker and the Caravans, and the title of it was, I Got a Telephone in My Bosom, and I Can Call Him Up From My Heart. And she was one of the first gospel artists that I had the opportunity to listen to and to be encouraged by. And many years ago, a number of years ago, and I must always say this, that whenever I go to Chicago uh, to minister, I can always count on the fact that Mother Albertina will be on the front row supporting me. And that means so much to me when you see someone of her caliber and someone, a pioneer of her stature who supports and who loves and who nurtures. A lot of us don't reach back for those who are coming behind us, but she always reached back and encouraged those coming along. And a number of years ago, as I walked off the stage at one of the workshops, she grabbed me by my hand and said, Richard, you're going to preach. And I respected her uh, for who she was. And I didn't want to say, no, I'm not. But I said, God bless you, mama. You pray for me. But I tell you, I stand here now as a minister of the gospel. And I praise God for mama and for the love and for the prayers that she showed me. Amen.